so I don't put it in these videos or um, like the skin is in one which I just video like I just filmed so it might already be up on my channel um, so they're not included at this point in time so these are just other things um, stuff that's been decluttered all that kind of stuff so I'm just going to get into it and uh, yeah see how we go uh, first up is the Lacura Essentials makeup rounds. I use these both for um, using my micellar water, um, my eye makeup remover, and nail polish remover. So um, I tend to buy these on a fairly regular basis. Um, I have this bag of Dezo makeup pads. There was 160 in here. These ones, I th yeah, they were this shape here. Yeah. They're like round ones. They were fine. Um, I would I would buy them again. They were they were good. In fact, I, I did buy them again the last time I was in Daiso. Um, I use them the same as I use the Lacura ones. Um, these are like two dollars eighty for one hundred and sixty, and the Lacura ones are a dollar. I think they're a dollar ninety nine for eighty, something like that. So these are cheaper, but I don't get to. Um, Dezo as much as I get to Audi. So. Also from Dezo is this, um, these are rectangular ones um, and they come in a two pack of boxes with 90 in each box. So that's like 180. Um, I quite like these ones. These are the ones I prefer for doing nail stuff with, like the rectangular ones. They just, they work better. Um, particularly if you're like removing, um, like acrylic nails and stuff and you're soaking them off these ones actually work a little bit better for that um, yeah so I re-bought these when I was in Dezo the last time as well so yeah I would buy them again and everything else other than this one is a declutter uh, so this is the WEN Sweet Almond Mint cleansing conditioner. I've had this in my collection for ages and ages and ages and I had people say don't use it if you've got colour in your hair because it'll take colour out of your hair and I was hoping to take the colour out of my hair but it didn't really work. Um, this has menthol in it uh, so if uh, you have a sensitive scalp <laughs> this might not be for you because um, it was a little um, burning basically not really not like peroxide burning but it was a weird sensation I suppose some people would call it cooling I'm not really that person I don't like this I would never buy this I've never spent the outrageous amount of money that this is um, uh, yeah <laughs> okay as I said everything else that I have here is all decluttery stuff from my makeup collection videos and just cleaning up around the house actually um, this is the more hand and body lotion in sugar rose it has been sitting around for ages um and nobody really wants to use it and i'm not sure if it smells funny um but i'm just i'm just not going to use it <laughs> this is the cancer cancel count cancer council sport spf 50 plus sun cream which didn't get used up i think this actually came in a subscription or something that i had um but its expiry is like last month so the spf on this is expired so it is going out if you saw my love it or lose it update which 
will have been posted before this one. You would have known that I threw out these uh, six brushes, which are not very nice brushes, basically. So, yeah, they're all going. And this was my cleanup brush. Um, see, my nail cleanup brush. So, what happens is, even if you don't stupidly leave your brush up this way, um, you should always keep your brush flat or tilted down, all brushes, when you get them wet, that's what you should do. Because if they get water or anything else inside the ferrule, this thing here, um, it starts to break down the glue, and then they um, start to fall apart. Or in the case of, of concealer brushes, they literally push back up inside the ferrule. Um, and it's because there's not as much bristles left anyway, because the uh, acetone actually starts to eat the bristles over a period of time. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, it basically just pushed back up in the ferrule. Um, yeah, that's, that's when you know the cactus. I have the Revlon Precision Dark um, Eyelash Glue. I um, think... <laughs> It's kind of drying up and they're literally hard to get off. Um, I quite like this eyelash glue. Um, I don't wear eyelashes very often because I'm not very good at it. Um, yeah. I have this, um, it's like a highlighter, illuminator thing from Fashion Secret, um, Fashionista. This brand doesn't exist anymore. It shows you how old it is. Um, and the content inside have started to separate and do weird things, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And it's also not a very good colour for me. I have this eyeshadow from Carmella. This, I believe, came from Born Pretty when I got one of their makeup um, Lucky Dip, Dip things. I mean, it's fine, but I have way better quality eyeshadows. <laughs> and this one is the Coral Colours uh, cool Sorbet Trio eyeshadow. Um, they're kind of broken up and busted and I don't like them so they're going. This is the designer brands Lip and Cheek Rouge. I don't know what colour it's in. It doesn't have one but it looks like it's going weird um, and I don't like using it anyway. I don't really like cream blushes. Um, yeah, so that one's going. Um, I have these little sample things from Besame in Red Velvet and Red Hot Red, which, um, but they're, they're kind of dirty and yeah, I'm just not going to use them. These are two eye bases from Calvin Klein. They're both starting to dry up um, and I'm just going, I have other cream bases I prefer more, so I'm just going to get rid of these ones. I'm writing everything down as I go, um, because I didn't do it beforehand. If you're wondering why I keep on looking down at my little notepad thing here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do it in between so I can cut those bits out, but sometimes I forget. Uh, everything else is lip products, um, and they're all ones that I either really don't like, or they look like they've gone bad, or they're growing things. Um, so, yeah. So we have this one, which is from... Maybelline, it's one of them weird ones that you twist up and it comes out the top and it's just kind of gross. Um, it doesn't even have a colour name. And this one is the Maybelline Colour Sensationals Lip Stain, which it looks like a texture and it's really not very good. I have three lip crayons here. This one is the Laudenberry Sensual, which they spelled it wrong and that annoys me. And also, come on, focus. It looks weird. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Uh, this is the Lacquer and Co. No Name one which is kind of like a pink, it's doing the same thing. And this is the Ulta 3 Pretty Affair, and it seems to be doing the same thing too. I have this lipstick from um, Colour by TBN, which is broken in the tubey thing, and I don't like the colour enough to try and salvage it. And this is the NYC... 
expert last in bury me, which also appears to be doing weird things. I'm not sure if it's growing anything. I just don't like the look of it, and so I'm not going to put it on my mouth. And I have plenty of other lipsticks that don't look like that, so I'll just use them instead. I have this lipstick from Playboy. Yes, they make lipstick and nail polish, or at least they used to. This is in In the Pink, and it, uh, I don't know what happened to it, but it literally looks like it's got water on it, and it doesn't, which might just be something inside it coming out, but the other one of these that I have doesn't look like that at all, so it's going. It smells a little. And the last three are all from the runway room, which I got at a convention trade show thing three years ago, something like that. Um, they've all um, started to look a little weird and funky, and I barely used any of these, so there was this one which was like a nudie one. Um, this is called The Duchess. This one is called Gypsy, which is like a dark purple one. And this one is The Governor, which is a bright pink. And yeah, they've basically all got these weird little bumpy thingies on them. And I don't like that. So, yeah. So that is it for this round of my empties. Um, I probably will just do another one because, um, if you know, um, I get married in like three weeks. Or it'll probably be less than three weeks by the time I put this video up. Um, and I'm going to be busy for the majority of November. I have like stuff going on. Um, I'm getting married at the start of November and then we're going on a honeymoon. And then I have um, my stat test to get into uni um, and then you know the lead up to Christmas so I probably will not do another empties until the end of the year and that will be my final empties where I work out the value of everything um, and it will include all the stuff from projects that is not hasn't been included in any of these um, so far this year I haven't kept all of the stuff for just regular empties I've only kept project stuff um, so there won't be like a big one of those but I will work out the value of what I've used and decluttered this year um, so that will be uh, probably at the start of next year um, or it might be late in December it just depends on when I get around to filming it um, yeah so that's it for this empties if you want to subscribe click the button down there click the little bell if you want to get notified if i want to upload new content give me a thumbs up if you like empties type videos and review type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya